Mr. Trump's action against the nuclear deal has ignited a new war of words with Iran. Elizabeth Palmer is in Tehran. Iran is not living up. A day after Donald Trump's broadside the against the nuclear deal, so Iranians are digesting the news and trying to figure out what it means. It is possible their country's economy will take another hit. But Iran's foreign minister, Jawad Zarif, who sat down with CBS well? News today, thinks President Trump's decertification has above all damaged America's reputation. Nobody else would trust any U.S. administration to engage in any long-term negotiation. In his response to Donald Trump, Iran's president hinted his country might now expand its conventional weapons program, which would add fuel to the fiery rhetoric blazing between Washington and Tehran. No sooner had the deal been signed that the Revolutionary Guard began testing missiles. It was, at the very least, provocative. Because the United States is selling hundreds of billion doll billions of dollars of worth of so-called beautiful military equipment to countries in this region. He means to Iran's arch enemies, especially Saudi Arabia. We need to defend our people. At Friday prayers this week in Tehran, there was the usual chant of death to America. In recent years, Iranians have come to see this more as a stale ritual than a real battle cry. But after Donald Trump's aggressive speech on Friday, that could certainly change. And the U.S.-Iranian relationship will get a whole lot worse fast if America decides to pull out of the nuclear deal and reimpose sanctions. So all eyes here in Tehran are on the U.S. Congress waiting to see what it will or maybe what it won't decide to do. DeMarco? Elizabeth Palmer reporting. Thank you.